Okay, so what I'm going to talk about today is um, I'm responding to people that ask a bunch of questions all along a similar set of lines. So something like, why, what, what do I do if I get symptoms from everything? Everything I do causes me to crash, uh, you know, even just little things like going for a shower, or whatever, you know, you can't, you can't leave the house. Um, so that, and then also, yeah, what to do if you just have fatigue all the time or you just, you have a certain symptom you can't get rid of. Um, you know, people talking about, um, I've, I've gotten this far, but now I've just got brain fog all the time. So maybe I'll talk about it in two parts. So I'll first address what to do if you feel like everything makes you crash and then what to do about certain symptoms. And the approaches will probably be pretty similar. So first things first, what to do about consistent symptoms? And I have a couple of things to say about that. So all I can do is I can share what worked for me and maybe it's not what you want to hear and be hoping for something else. Maybe it's not helpful, but I can just put out there what I experienced, what was keeping me stuck and what I had to do to get past that um, and, and what worked for me. So that's where this is coming from. And then obviously what I learned out of all of this, you know, you, you get certain insights into, um, you know, how resistance operates and what, what was causing the suffering the whole time, I suppose. So essentially a really important thing to realize, and I've mentioned this a lot and I'll keep mentioning it because it's really essential and that's that it's all about resistance. And that's what it was for me. And I really only started to get better when I kind of accepted, like I, I stopped trying to get to a different place. I stopped imagining a future where there, where there were no symptoms, where all my problems were solved, um, because that's what was keeping me stuck. I was, I was resisting what I needed to face, what I needed to feel, what I needed to sit with. I was doing my very best to get away from that. And the harder I pushed and ran and distracted so that I didn't have to face that, the worse it would get. And I've spoken about this before, when you're in the, in the identity of being the sick one, the, the story of the chronic illness, that narrative of, I've been sick for this long, this gives me symptoms, these are my symptoms, see a lot of people that will you know run through their whole story of this is who they are this is where they're at and when you're in that place the labels that we use can be like this gives me symptoms this gives me symptoms you know whenever i do this i crash but looking back on my journey you know, i would use those same labels and that same story um and there's nothing wrong with that that's that's what it feels like at the time that's exactly how it appears and there's no there's nothing wrong with that except you've got to let go of that um, and what I mean is as I just spoke about briefly it was all just about me running from things and not wanting to feel what I needed to feel so it would then come out in the form of symptoms from doing certain things right so I, I uh, there would be something coming up, a lot of discomfort, and I didn't want to sit with it. I'd rather distract myself, and and then it would like play out as like, oh, this is giving me symptoms. Every time I do this, I feel worse, and then the belief would form like, okay, doing this is bad for me. It gives me symptoms, but it really was about just because I was doing something instead of facing what I needed to face, I suppose. So that's one one thing, of course. It's all about the fear that arises as well. And then that puts the body in a stressed out state. And then a consequence of that is, you know, a cascade of symptoms from the body going into that stressed out state. So it's not to say that there's, there's no such thing as symptoms. Um, you know, there is that, that vicious cycle of fear, stress, um, and all of that. But at the same time, what really worked for me was realizing 
that it was all just about resistance. And the more, the more I sat with this, the more, the more I learned. As I said in my last video, like eventually it hit rock. I hit rock bottom. I just couldn't distract myself anymore. So that's one thing. And then what eventually happened was I began to understand that it was just sensations and it's just, it's just a sensation in the body. Why do I run from it so much? Why do I want to do anything I can to avoid feeling the sensation? And I really got curious about that. And that led me to sit with it more and inquire more into it. And then what starts to happen is you can start to see the symptoms arising as an opportunity. And then like that fascination, that curiosity, that welcoming of the symptoms is really the opposite of resistance. If it's coming from an authentic place and that's what really started to help me, the symptoms would still come and there would still be resistance that would initially arise in response to the symptoms but there was then then you know that would be that would be seen that there was resistance and as i've mentioned before then it became like what am i resisting like like really curious like why is what i'm feeling right now such a problem because i know it's all about resistance the only reason there's a problem here is because i'm res resisting something if i was totally accepting my present experience exactly as it is why would something need to change, right? So then it all became about feeling into the resistance. And I can really say that the deeper you can go, and again, it's, it's really important that you try to do this from an authentic place and just be honest with yourself in what you're feeling and what is there. So if you notice that you're doing this practice in order to get rid of the symptom, so you notice the symptom, um, you realize, oh, I'm resisting the symptom, or you've heard like, oh, it's all about resistance. You know, I must be resisting something. I'm now going to explore this resistance because I've heard it can help get rid of the symptoms. Just be honest with yourself. Be like, okay, oh, look, I noticed that's what I'm doing. That's more resistance, right? So it's again, just noticing the resistance. Um, and, and then notice if there's judgment about that, like, oh, that's bad. I shouldn't be doing that. I really have to feel, I have to feel the resistance um, authentically without wanting to get rid of the resistance because then you're resisting the resistance so it's just like be honest with yourself what's there and for me when I first learned about the importance of this authenticity and not pretending um, not lying to yourself like like for me it would be like you know noticing the symptoms and then because I'd uh, in the past done some I learned a lot about the brain retraining and how that had worked for certain people and I'd done a course myself and a lot of the focus there is on you know like retraining the brain to respond differently so you notice um, resistance or like a negative thought pattern and then you try to be like oh no I must respond positively to this um, and and pretend you're feeling good so be like oh I'm I'm super healthy there's nothing wrong with me um, and that was helpful to an extent in like learning that it was all about my beliefs and that I could change these beliefs. But that eventually hit a, a dead end and I wasn't being authentic. Um, so then I learned about just, just being honest with myself about how I'm feeling. And again, it's such a relief when you don't have to resist anything. When you're like, okay, I'm not actually feeling so good at the moment and I don't need to say to myself you know I'm, I'm feeling good um there's no fatigue i'm strong i'm healthy because that really did become like the way i was trying to recover at one point was just try to convince the body that i'm 100 percent healthy and that there's nothing there's nothing wrong with me there's no symptoms um but again you're resisting you're resisting something you need to feel you start to resist the emotions um the fear because then the fear uh the fear becomes, you know, I've spoken about this before, but the fear becomes about the thoughts like, oh, I'm going to have a crash. I'm not feeling so good. And you're like, oh, no, I mustn't have those thoughts uh, when it's really, you know, the big, the big jump in my recovery and what eventually led to, to full recovery was full authenticity of what was appearing and what was what was happening and just the complete acceptance of it and no need for it to be different. And this can really be difficult 
And what a practice that can really help with this is, is consciously welcoming whatever is there. And I did this a lot. Like this, this was, you know, combine it with like meditation or whatever. It was like a type of meditation that I, I learned from some guided meditations and some other stuff I read was like consciously, if, if there's a difficult emotion, a difficult sensation, a difficult thought, actually saying to yourself in your head or even out loud if you, you're sitting alone, um, it's okay, you can be there. Like I, I give space to whatever wants to be here, like really welcoming whatever is there, whatever you really don't want to feel, just let it be there. And this was a practice I would do when the symptoms were really bad. And, I, you know, so say it would happen a lot when I started to push myself again. And I, I realized that, you know, it was my beliefs that had kept me stuck. So I needed to start exercising again. But again, I would still have a lot of crashes and um, flare ups and a lot of symptoms. And it was really difficult. It was really tough. And what I, I, I realized I had to do was in those crashes, just, just sit with it and consciously, you know, welcome what was there. Um, so that can really become your practice. You know, just take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, however, you know, w whatever works for you. Obviously, the longer, if you can do it for a long period of time, that would help me. Like eventually sitting for long periods of time would really help. But don't don't hold yourself to that. You know, if all you can do is, is five minutes, ten minutes, then just start start where you are, and really just like feel into the resistance, whatever emotion you don't want to feel, whatever symptom, whatever thought you're really scared of, um, whatever it is you're running from and you don't want to feel, and you're looking for a way out, whatever problem it feels like that is making you not accept this moment exactly as it is, just just really practice welcoming it and. Yeah, you can do it however feels most authentic to you and resonates the most with you. But again, just as an example for me, it was, you know, just sitting with it and being like, you're really welcome to be here. And, you know, can I make space for anything that wants to arise? And then what will often happen is like a level of fear will arise because you're not used to doing this. You're used to running and the mind can say something or the thoughts can say something or you notice the thoughts along the lines of, but if I welcome anything, you know, all that bad shit's going to come up, or um, then um, the negative stuff that I'm supposed to not feel is going to come up, and then just welcome that. Oh, that's a thought. Okay, that's that's fear. That that's probably fear. I'm I'm afraid of what I'm going to welcome, and just welcome that. Okay, there's fear. Okay, can I sit with this fear? Can I? Can I really feel into this fear? Can I, you know, accept this fear with love and kindness and, and, and let it be here and not run from it? Because what's arising in your mind is, it's, it's, it's like a, it's a deep part of yourself that you're, you've, you've repressed, right? So it's like, I've spoken a little bit about emotional repression. Um, and we, we learned at a young age to repress these emotions um, just just through the social conditioning because it's what a society does and there's no one to blame for it we all just um, learned this from other people just that's that's how things have evolved and um, th these these emotions then then get buried and and we run from it and we look for a way to escape from them but when you can really welcome them and yeah, I'll just let them, to just really nurture them in a sense. And um, it can be called like self-parenting or whatever, where you just like, whatever it is you don't want to feel, just welcome it. Whatever it is you're res resisting, just really try your best to welcome it and, and feel it as deeply as you can and sit with it. And whatever comes up, it's okay. It's like, maybe you're doing this and, you, and you're like, shit, I'm, I'm not doing this right. You know, maybe it's like, uh, self-doubt or guilt or shame it's like I I, I'm, I can't do this you know I've, I've never been good at this kind of thing or you, you try to do it and you're just like I'm doing it wrong that's 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 it that's that's what you're looking for that's what you've got to welcome okay that's I'm doubting myself that's fine that can be here you know can I really welcome this can I sit with this can I really just accept it and um, and yeah so it's, it's like emotion work um, 
acceptance work. And I would say this helps like tremendously because really, so to go back to the, the first two questions that I said I was answering, like what to do when all you have is symptoms and everything makes you crash, this, you know, you, you really got to see those symptoms as that's where you need to go if you want to recover. It's not going away from the symptoms. It's going straight towards them and welcoming them because that's what you need to face. It's, it's all, again, I'm speaking from my personal experience, so uh, take it with a grain of salt if it doesn't feel like it resonates. But um, if you feel like some of the stuff I've said is resonates and you want to try the approach that worked for me, then this is what I'm sharing here. And really for me, it really was all just about facing what I, feeling what I needed to feel. And it's such a relief. It was such a relief, that radical authenticity where I, w I would just, like when I first started this practice, um, I just lay down for like half an hour and whatever came up was okay. It was like, just, just be 100% authentic. Don't pretend that, you know, something else is coming up. Just accept whatever comes up. And it, it can be such a relief because all of that, that suffering, it might have just been running away and, and pushing away. It was all just the resistance. It wasn't what you were resisting. It was the resistance itself that was so uncomfortable. And when you can welcome those emotions, the sensations, whatever it is you're resisting, when you can welcome it, it's like, oh shit, there wasn't actually anything wrong with feeling this. This shame, this fear, this guilt, there's nothing wrong with feeling it. It's such a relief. So yeah, and then like what to do about specific symptoms. It's again, it's, it's what's wrong, what's wrong with that, that symptom you have. And of course I understand um, you want to recover. Um, but if I'm speaking from my personal experience, I really just have to accept, like, if I'm going to feel this, if this symptom wants to be here, this symptom, I have to accept it. I'm going to sit with it. And it's, it's really just the resistance. And the more I could do that, the more I saw it's just the resistance to the symptom. It's like, it's the trying to fix and get rid of that was causing the problems. So it's tough, you know, you, there's natural resistance patterns that we have. And even when I knew all of this and I'd practiced it and I'd seen from my first hand experience that it was all my resistance, there's still this momentum of resistance that we've learned. And, you know, sometimes there would be strong resistance and I, I would really like, I just don't want to feel, I don't want to feel this. And I would distract myself for a couple of days and it would get worse and worse. And then I'd have a crash because I was just resisting this so much. And then eventually I would need to feel it. I was like, that's where that hitting rock bottom, that authenticity was like, do I want to recover? Like what's most important to me? And a lot of people will say recovery. And then if you're being honest with yourself, then it's like, well, I know what I need to do. I, I need to feel this. I need to stop distracting myself. And I'm just saying that's how it was for me. I'm not calling anybody out here. I'm calling myself out because that's, that's how I experienced it was eventually I would be like, okay, well, I can't, I can't complain to anybody. I can't go ask anybody for what do I need to do to get rid of this symptom? because I know I just need to feel it and I know I need to stop resisting it and I know I need to accept it. And then, yeah, so it's, it's really difficult and it's, um, that's why I said it's like, it's acceptance work and, and, and really being compassionate with every part of yourself. So, you know, what I, the, the, the practice I described really addresses this, but if you're struggling, that's okay. It's like, you don't need to uh, be smashing this and um, you know super strong and you know we always say got to stay strong to get through this but actually surrender and acceptance was the the key for me it was just like you, fighting this was the problem I was like I need to accept this I, I need to welcome what's here I need to stop resisting whatever it is you know if it's like yo I'm, I'm doing I'm doing really badly um like, like being hard on yourself, like I'm not approaching this right, I'm resisting, um, I'm distracting myself, um, you know, I should be doing better, keep crashing, just just notice that, that whatever that is, and welcome it and be like, okay, maybe it's guilt, you know, it's like you're feeling guilty because you, you feel like you should do something else. Oh, that's guilt, that's what it is. I can, I can, can I welcome guilt? Can I let guilt be here? Um, 
can I notice a resistance to guilt? Can I, can I feel into resistance and let that be here? Um, so, yeah, that, that's um, my take and, and what worked for me. And it's really, it's always the same, just in different, like I can describe this in different ways, but it was all the same. It was welcome, acceptance, seeing a thought as a thought and welcoming that. And then beliefs. I've mentioned this before, but beliefs, it's really believing I shouldn't feel this, believing this gives me symptoms. I'm the one who's got this story, this narrative and whatnot, but maybe I'll make a, another video going on onto that because one thing I'll say quickly is what if you just let go of all of those beliefs, of every, every belief you have about your past, about the future, about how sick you've, you've been, and what if you just look what's here in every single moment? So forget about the story. And it, it's not, it's not, it doesn't go away immediately, but it's a practice you can do. What if I just look purely at what's in direct experience and what, not what's a, a thought about the past or future? So, you know, every time I do this, I have a crash. Okay, that's a thought about the past. Um, if I do this again, I'm going to have a crash or I'm going to be stuck like this for years or... You know, those are all thoughts. What's here right now in just in your direct experience? Like, just, just look, what's referencing past and future? As soon as you're referencing past and future, it's a thought. It's not what's here right now. Um, so that's just one thing about beliefs and how to, how to notice if something's a belief um, or a thought. Is it, um, is, it, is it here right now? And a thought can be here, but it's a thought. It's not what the content of the thought. Um, but maybe I'll speak about that more in another video because... I've already um, put quite a lot out there, and it's a um, it's a lot of stuff. So, yeah, just 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 really, it's that welcoming, that kindness, and um, that acceptance. And uh, maybe this isn't what you want to hear. Um, it's just what um, what I can share that worked for me. And um, and I'm sure if you if you give it a chance, it can really help you as well.